The Google Pixel 4a is the flagship killer. It has a little bit of everything, the perfect balance. You're not getting a cheap phone, nor you're not getting a quality flagship phone, but this is the perfect balance between the two. Here's my review. This looked like a thousand dollar phone, but what if I told you that this is only $350? Talking about the build quality, this is made out of plastic or polycarbonate, but the material doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel squeaky. It feels aluminum. It feels like aluminum, but this is plastic here. You have the fingerprint scanner on the back, which is insanely fast. As um, soon as I press my thumb on the back there, it instantaneously unlocks the phone. Boom, good to go. And it just, it works every single time. Um, also, I like how the volume up and down buttons on the side are low. So if you have small hands, you have nothing to worry about. But some people, they prefer to have the lock button on one side and the volume up and down button on the other, just to identify very quickly on which side is which, instead of pressing the lock button accidentally or, you know, with the volume up and down. So you'll know which side is which. Now the headphone jack is back. Um, I never used it, to be honest with you guys. I fully transitioned to Bluetooth headphones, so I use my Sony XM4s. I also use the Space 2. I have some other headphones, but I pretty much strictly use Bluetooth. But it is nice to have a um, auxiliary port, a headphone jack on a phone, because when you have an old school car or a classic car, you you know you have that state of mind that okay, I can use the aux cable. Um, that's the problem with these new phones now. You have to use the dongle, and then you lose the dongle, and it's a nightmare. Because I prefer to have it on the bottom, so the wire is just not going to be gliding on, on the front of the screen. And also, this phone is very light. Very light, easy to hold in the hand. You're not going to have a problem putting this in your pocket. It's not too big. It's not too small either. Um, you have that all-screen beautiful display. You have that hole punch on the top left. Google releasing this, it shows everybody that you don't need to spend $1,000 on the smartphone. I recently done a camera comparison between the 11 Pro Max, which cost $1,100. If not, the Pixel 4a was better in some cases, and in some cases it was just like similar on par. So this is a flagship killer. This is how you do it, Google. And the fact how this is cheaper than the iPhone SE. This cost $400, this cost $350. This just looked like it's more expensive. So bravo to Google, they hit home run with this one. And also, I'm gonna be excited for like small little features. I appreciate the always on display. Having an always on display at this point for me is mandatory. I have the Pataka Air Ami and I just plug it up and I have the, the screen always on. So it's constantly showing the time, the weather. I love having the always on display. And, and the best thing too with the Pixel, it actually identify the music playing in the environment. If I'm in a store and I was like, man, this is a good song, what's the name of it? The phone is automatically going to identify what song is playing in, in the environment. So it's very accurate. It's very quick. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. I got it. So pop smoke, RP to pop smoke and identify it just right there, right there on the always on display. Very convenient. And I would say the hole punch isn't as intrusive as I thought. Going back to a notch, just it feels so dated. You know, it's take up some content on the screen. I wish it was, I wish the hole punch was in the center, but at the same time, I see why Google put it on the side. And nowadays we have Android devices looking the same nowadays. So I guess having it on the left is a more signature look, uh, but having it in the center, it just gives you that uh, symmetry look. So it just creates symmetry. Also, I love the transcripts. So the voice memos app, which I did cover on the unboxing video, I haven't really used it too much, but to be able to have voice recordings and have it, uh, you know, have it as a transcript is very convenient. So for example, this is a transcript test on the Google Pixel 4a. And if I switch into transcript, you guys can see it's dictating exactly what I'm saying. And on top of that is recording my voice memo. So very convenient to have. If you're a content creator, you like to create content. I think that could be very handy to have. And honestly, just the Pixel in general, if you're a content creator, you're a photographer, this is an excellent phone to have in your toolbox. Also, let me know down in the comments down below, do you guys prefer to see my face or do you guys prefer to see the phone? What kind of reviews do you guys like? The phone cam or the face cam? Let me know in the comments. Also, you have raised to wake, so it's gonna automatically wake up the Pixel as soon as you lift it up. That is something that the iPhone has too. You have raised to wake. 
but the problem is you don't have the tap so you can't tap on the iPhone and it's gonna wake up the display this you can tap on it and you can unlock it but you still need to use your pin or the fingerprint this has Gorilla Glass 3 so very durable on glass I haven't had any scratches or cracks of course I took really good care of this phone this doesn't have wireless charging this is the only Google phone Google is selling currently and they still sell the Pixel uh, wireless charging stand so also another simple Android feature double pressing on the power button activates the camera this is way faster than on an iPhone the iPhone doesn't have any kind of gestures or anything like that you have to swipe up from the bottom and then you got to look for the camera toggle and then that's it. As Falsely Carter would say, this is your World Star Hip Hop button. You know, I guess if your phone is locked, you can always swipe to the side, but something is more satisfying just double clicking on the side button and getting to the camera instantaneously. The camera also gives you some steps on how to take that perfect picture. So they give you like little tips to raise up the pixel or lower it down. Or move closer for better focus so you guys can see it says try portrait mode it's gonna say raise the camera up I like that little detail because people don't know you know am I taking that perfect shot it's good to just for the phone to tell you and in terms of the performance the performance is very snappy but I'm concerned how it's gonna stack up in a year or two because this is a year old processor 2019 processor on a 2020 body right here this has 128 gigabytes of storage that's fair you cannot expand the memory so that's kind of unfortunate but, but remember guys 350 dollars stock android is very silky smooth now the battery life isn't the best but it is better way better than the iphone se this is packed in a larger battery at 3160 milliamps while the iphone i believe it has like a 1900 milliamp battery very measly small battery on the on the se but the battery life isn't perfect and like i said you have that fast charging that's something that the iphones doesn't have you have that five watt charger on the iphone se but the pixel you have a fast charger so even if your phone dies take the charger with you and you could charge back to zero to 100 real quick this is my favorite part about the pixel the camera is just flat out incredible i mean let me just show you guys some pictures here just real quick it is comparable to an iphone sometimes even better but for $350, this is just like insane. Now I wish the video can record 4K 60 frames per second or 24 frames per second, but unfortunately it's not present on the Pixel 4a. Yeah, but overall, just a quick little review. I just gotta give this a pop up pop up pops approval, hands down, easily. The amount of bang that you're getting out of this Pixel is just flat out incredible. Like this is a steal, this is a bargain. If you need a phone and you don't care about iOS versus Android, this is it guys this is not going to break the bank you just want a phone a good phone at that this is it guys it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect it's missing wireless charging it has no ip rating i think that's a big deal breaker for some people because even the iphone se has an ip rating and you can walk in the rain with it and all of that but this doesn't have it but 350 dollars you're getting a lot more stuff the se you know i like the se back better but i like the pixel 4a front better so these is like inverted devices in a sense but yeah for the most part that concludes my review of the pixel 4a um i guess you can watch my unboxing watch my comparisons i've done so many videos on this pixel i'm just ready to call it a day guys but i really do love this phone guys i really do it's a pop 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 pops approval like easily